Welcome to the Cinema 40 tutorial. In this tutorial I'll try and explain to you the basics of the Cinema 40 interface and some of its tools. To begin with, this is the main window. This is the modeling window where you'll do all your work in. To help you understand how it works, I'll just quickly create a cube. To rotate in this window, you can either press Alt or Option left mouse button and drag, or you can press on these circular arrow button and drag and rotate. To pan in this window, you can press Option or Alt middle mouse button or left and right mouse button combined, depending on what you set those two in your settings. So click and drag, or if this is too complicated for you, just click on this button up here and click and drag and move it around. To zoom, zoom in and out, you just move your scroll wheel in or outwards, and, or you can click on this button. When you use this button though, be sure to move your mouse left and right instead of uh, forward or away from you and towards you, backward. As you can see, these results are a lot worse than moving left and right. If you want to see your object from multiple views, viewing points, uh, you can either go up here under cameras and select maybe say right and see it from the right angle. Or you can click on this button or just press your middle mouse button. Or that one. Now you see it from four different views, perspective, top, front and right. You can change any of these views, say if you want to see the bottom, just click on camera on any one of them and then bottom. To enlarge this or this one you can press again your middle mouse button in this window or click this button. So this or if I wanted to enlarge this one. That's the basics of the wi modeling window. The second uh, window that you see here is the objects pane. This pretty much is just a list of all the objects that are in your window at one time. So if I were to make a bunch of cubes, you'd see all the cubes. And if you want to name them something else, just click on one. As you can see, it's highlighted now. And press Enter or Return. And then type whatever you like. This is your Attributes pane. Nothing's selected, so nothing's in there. So if I select the cube, you can now see the basic stuff. It's coordinates, the position, X, which is red, Y, which is green and Z, which is blue. Z is the third dimension. You can see the size for X, Y, and Z axes, and the rotation. And I do not know what H, P, or B stands for. I just guess every time. Under object, you can again see size, if I want to increase the size lengthwise, or height, or just return them to normal by double clicking on each window. And then the segments. Segments kind of makes like two faces for each side. So if I make two, you will now see the one face here is split into two with an edge running through it. I'll put that back to normal. Down here you see in the standard interface the timeline and its uh, buttons and features. The coordinates of whatever you're looking at. So if I move this, you'd see the co X coordinates changed. The size and rotation and materials, paint materials, I like the textures. Uh, you can press file, new material or command N and then you see in the attributes a giant uh, list comes up of stuff that you can change to your uh, material which is previewed with a circle. So I can change it to maybe a dark bluish and then to apply it to my object I can either drag it over the object, you see the plus sign on the Mac, or drag and drop it on the object listed here and then it turns blue. <clears throat> Some of the basic tools that you'll use are up here. This is the selection tool. Click this and you can select things. That was my clock. Um, you can also press E or this button for the move tool. It does, oops, it does what it's told to do, move the scale button which has a shortcut uh, T on your keyboard this you can see now these switched from arrows to little cubes and you can enlarge things 
and then you rotate which is uh, for shortcut so now you can drag any one of these axes to rotate it now put it back to normal you can switch between any tool and the current the selection tool by pressing spacebar so if I was on one of these tools I could press space and then return to my selection tool this right here shows just a history of tools, recent tools that you've used so you can see a lot more these are different tools for editing and here are other tools right. these are your render settings this, is, this changes render settings you can choose where to save it output, other stuff like that this has specifics for rendering so if you wanna say render a certain region just click and drag and that's rendered and this is your quick render just click it and you've rendered your scene or the shortcut for the quick render is command R does the same thing this right here is just your basic um, objects that you've got the cube, sphere, cone, whatever, even figure if you like that it's your spleens hypernerbs which are just tools to work with spleens mostly um, uh, more tools. Not, th these aren't so important right now for a, any beginner watching this video. And then these are lights and cameras, cinematic stuff. So if I were to create a light, for example, it will delete or it will get rid of this natural lighting that you see in the scene. So I'll create one and everything's black because the light's inside my cube. So I move it outside. Now I have a nicely lit cube you can see here the, uh, the light also has many attributes that you can play around with see what you want and what works best now if you want to edit the cube itself you can see I can't grab any of the edges or the points and drag them or anything to do this you have to press short keyboard shortcut C or this button up here make editable you can also go up to functions and click this, which I just did. Now you can press on any of these three buttons, points, click a point, and if you want to move it, say just drag it out, maybe an edge, click on this one, and you can drag this one out, or a face, and drag that out. And now you can pretty much edit any shape in any way possible with these three buttons. And of course there are m many more editing tools under the structure menu. Now if you want to select the entire object again instead of just selecting one side or two sides click on this objects button and as you can see these kind of orange cube shape things appear now you can drag the entire object around. Now this is the basic uh, Cinema 4D interface. You can change the layout of the interface up here in window layout there are certain things or over here you can click and then there are different settings there was modeling, animation and then if you have body paint these two. I This is my user specific modeling interface that I just created today. You can as you can see say, make and save your own interfaces another very useful keyboard shortcut is uh, pressing V uh, on the uh, modeling screen if you press V your menus from up here appear right around the mouse wherever the mouse is Oops. so if I have the mouse maybe over here here's my tools menu functions structure and I can select anything really quickly so if I really quickly need to change something just structure boom I've got it Pretty much everything in Cinema 4D has some sort of keyboard shortcut. Whether you choose to memorize them all or not, that's up to you. But another way of finding them is right to the side. There's this U and squiggly line A. What that means is U, just press U, and then this menu comes up. Don't move your mouse, and that disappears. So just press U, and then align normals A. And then you got that tool. And same goes for structure, so you press M and then say you want 
to bridge something, press B and you have the bridge tool. You can find a lot of these, I'm sure you can find them somewhere online, but that's pretty much up to you whether you want to use them. Well, I think that's all for the basics of Cinema 4D. I hope to see you next time. Bye.